Good morning and welcome to this week's episode of the Five Tech Roundup. If you're ready to hear the latest and greatest tech news from this last week, you've come to the right place. Let's go. Number one, after the successful Coinbase IPO last Friday, digital currency proved a popular topic amongst news outlets this week. Being described as a watershed moment for crypto, British Finance Minister Rishi Sunak has urged the Bank of England to look at a case for a new Britcoin. See what they did there. Or certainly a central bank-backed digital currency aimed at tackling some of the challenges posed by cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. You can discover more about Britcoin by using the first link below. Number two, on the topic of digital currencies, a top central bank official has announced that China is trying to find a way to make it possible for foreign athletes and visitors to use its digital currency during the Beijing Winter Olympics in 2022. While China has been working on a digital yen since 2014 and has recently launched a number of pilot programs within China, this will be the first test with international users. You can discover more on that by using the second link below. Number three, Pretty Patel has stepped up an international campaign to force Facebook to reverse its plans to merge its messaging apps and encrypt all communications between users, arguing that such plans make it harder to safeguard children. Her comments are the latest push in a fight that goes back almost 30 years. The broad issue is the same as ever. Governments and law enforcement are worried about what is being said on communication platforms that cannot easily be monitored, while technology companies argue that the nature of encryption means that they have to provide privacy for everyone or no one. You can jump right into that encryption war by using the third link below. Number four, seeing as yesterday was Earth Day, I've dropped a link to UK tech's coverage of the UK-based tech startups doing their part to help people reduce their carbon footprint and help save the planet. From tackling climate change on the front line to sustainable investment platforms that help consumers invest exclusively in companies focused on tackling the climate crisis, these businesses have built sustainability into the heart of their companies, and I hope you are as inspired by them as I am. You take a look by using the fourth link below. Number five, Apple have been targeted in a $50 million ransomware attack following the theft of a trove of engineering and manufacturing schematics on current and future products. The leak first reported by the record was carried out by Revil, a Russian hacking group who had already begun posting the stolen images on April 20th, timed specifically to coincide with Apple's latest spring-loaded event after the ransom was refused. You can discover more on that using the fifth link below. And that's all the news we have today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy Fridays to join me for another episode of the Friday Tech Roundup. Before you go, a big shout out to the ECS team who recently secured the AWS Financial Services Competency and became one of just 12 organizations headquartered in Amir to have the award. A very big well done to all those who made it happen. And last but certainly not least, if you're interested in discovering more about Acra Security and their work in the DevOps space, head to the ECS YouTube channel at 12 p.m. UK time today. They have a partner exclusive Ask Me Anything session and it's going to be great. We've got links to both the blog and also the Ask Me Anything session below, so do go check those out. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I look forward to catching up with you next Friday with more tech news. Take care.